Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So I recently upgraded my Windows machine, but now every time that I plug in an SD card that has multiple partitions, for example with 351 Elec or Arc OS or even Emulec, I get this weird error that pops up every single time. And basically it shows all three partitions and then it asks me if I want to format one of them because this partition in particular is unreadable on Windows. So every time I have to sit there and hit cancel and say, no, I don't want to format this one. And it's just kind of a pain in the butt because I swap SD cards pretty often. So I'm going to show you how to fix that here in this video. This is going to be a really quick guide here. Now just a couple notes here, this has to be done on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8 cannot recognize multi-partition SD cards. Now if you click on the written guide that I have linked below, I actually show you how to do that on Windows 7 and Windows 8 machines. So if you have an older version of Windows, just go ahead and check out the written guide and it'll show you how to change out partitions so that you can access the easy ROMs or the games partition of your SD card. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's actually get to it. If you open up your Windows Explorer, you're going to see that there are three different partitions available on your computer. Typically, the first partition is the one that's unreadable and it won't have any information on it. Then you'll have your games partition, which is where you're going to put all your ROMs and game files. And then there also will be a system partition, and that's where a lot of the boot files are going to be. Typically, all you really ever need is that games partition. It's very rare that you're actually going to need the boot one. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide those other partitions. You're going to need one app to do this. It's called Disk Genius. And I'll leave a link to this in my written guide. So once you've installed Disk Genius, just go ahead and open it up. And then over on the left, you're going to see your SD card, and it's going to have those three partitions. In particular, I want to hide the storage partition. That's the one that keeps showing the error. So all you have to do is just right click on it, and then go remove drive letter. And literally, it's that easy. Now it'll never pop up again. If you look over in Windows Explorer, it no longer exists. So let's go ahead and eject the SD card, and then let's plug it right back in and see if it comes up with that error again. So ejecting now, and then I'm plugging it in. You can't see me do it, but just trust me, I'm doing it. And look at that, only my games and 351 elect partitions showed up. Super handy. And you could also remove the drive partition for the other one as well. That way only the games partition shows up when you plug in your card. It's really up to you. So let's go ahead and do that. For me, this one gave me an error and said it was being used, but I didn't have anything that was actually using it. So I just went ahead and hit yes on this. So there we go. Now neither of those are assigned and only the games one is. So if we look into Windows Explorer again, all we can see is the games partition. Okay, and I know you'll never do this, but just in case you happen to screw this up and you unassign the wrong one, let me show you how to reassign them. You're actually just going to use a built-in program called Disk Manager. So just go into your Windows Start menu and type in Disk Manager. It'll pop up and it won't actually say Disk Manager, it'll say Create or Format Hard Drive Partitions. So let's go ahead and reassign a letter to 351 elect partition. So all you have to do is right click on it and then select change drive letter and paths. And then just hit add. And then change the drive letter to whatever you want. I'm going to do F again because that's what it was earlier. And that's it. I've assigned the letter F to the drive and now it pops up on Windows Explorer. So if you actually happen to have Windows 10 and you plug it in and you're not finding any games partition, this is how you would assign that letter so that you can find it as well. So there we go, now I have both F and G partitions available. Well, that's it for this video. Like I warned you, it's going to be really short. I just wanted to help you to troubleshoot any of these issues you have when it comes to SD cards that have multiple partitions. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.